he was actually arrested in Colombia. I thought he was going to get killed in Colombia by something like gangsters or something like that. Turns out he was arrested. Here's the video. <clears throat> you saw the video? Of him getting out the car? Getting yeah. Arrested? Yeah, yeah. Sorry. That's pretty <clears throat> crazy to see that he was arrested, but yeah. we, we were all wondering why was he arrested, right? Cause... And real quick, if you noticed, he's wearing the same outfit he was wearing in his previous video that he went live in. So right. let, that, let that sink in a little bit. Right, it happened at that moment. And a yeah. lot of weird things happened on that video that um, were kind of shady. Uh, but many people were wondering why he he was arrested, right? So I read an article from Semana.com, which is a Colombian website. And I translated it using Google Translate. And so here's what it read, all right? Check this out. It's pretty crazy and pretty out out there. I mean, you're going to look at him very differently. So it says, as part of a cooperation agreement and location of the international fugitives between the Office of, a, of the Attorney of General of the Nation and the Marshall Agency of the United States Department of Just, Justice, Investigative Technical Corps, CTI personnel, located Michael Wolfgang Nicole. That's Meikle Worldwide. All right. So his name was actually published on this website. Yeah. Convicted in the United States and required by the authorities of that country for sexually abusing minors. And I'm going to continue reading this because it gets even darker and deeper. This person was apprehended in a restaurant in the Laureles neighborhood in Medellin and was left at the disposal of Immigration Colombia to advance the administration process of deportation. So he's being extradited. Extradited. Yeah, so that's a big deal. And um, Jay knows a little bit about why they do this in Colombia. Yeah, because of the Pablo Escobar era, they were trying to um, pass the law. Of, I guess America was trying to have Colombia work with them to extradite uh, Pablo Escobar to the United States for, for the, all the crimes that they uh, put against him for the drugs. Right. So they were able to do that, and I guess that law stood in place ever since then, since the 90s or 80s. Yeah. So now, since he went to Colombia, they got wind of that because of the videos he was posting up over there, mm -hmm. and they went trying to hunt and track him down there. Because in the yard, there's no, there's no, um, there's no extradite extradition contract. There's or no cooperation between there's the no, two there's nations. There's no, yeah, between uh, DR and America. Right. So, so who they knows couldn't, why they couldn't he go did. and apprehend him there. Right. Um, this, this article continues and it just gets crazier and crazier and I, I can't believe it. According to reports, now here's what he's wanted for in the United States, right? So it has to be something big. It can't be like you robbed a store. Uh, they're not going to go yeah. after you for robbing a store. It. It's not going to be like you, uh, you know, you robbed something from a store or, or you jacked the car. Those are like little petty things. Yeah. This is actually really big. According to reports from the U S authorities, Michael Wolfgang Nicole, which I can't get around the, I can't wrap it around my head that his name, his middle name is Wolfgang. That's that's pretty dope though. That's a dope it is ass. cool, right? It's really cool, <laughs> yeah. but Wolfgang book. <laughs> nothing cool about what he did though. No. Uh, according to the U.S. authorities, Michael Wolfgang Nicole provided drugs to a minor of ten years, then sexually abused him. That's fucking crazy, bro. It gets crazier. According to this. He left him tied up. He left him tied to his feet and arms in the trunk of a car. Bro, what the fuck? This is a 10-year-old boy. All right? Um, and this happened in 2018, correct? Right. And it says sexually abused him. So it's a, it's a boy. Right? Uh, the assault occurred in the state of Georgia in 2018, yeah. like you said. And for these facts, there was already a conviction in his arrest for that was ordered. So this is one of the reasons why they want him. It's a big deal. That uh, is a big deal. Now, what bro. kind of person do you have to be to tie up a 10 year old and, <clears throat> um, you know, drug him and then sexually abuse? Yo, I'll fucking kill somebody, bro. Cause I, I have a nine year old, bro. I would not. That's basically, that's right there. Like 10, yeah, nine, 10, 10 years I do old. as well. Yeah. Drugging a ten-year-old and having them tied to their feet and hands, and putting them in, in the, the trunk of a car, and, and leave them in the trunk, bro. Which, from everything we said, is probably the least craziest thing. I mean, he drugged and abused, you know, 
sexually abused this kid, according to this article. Yeah. Um, this gets crazier. It gets darker. I'm a, I mean, um, I don't understand how anyone could support this. Uh, he's been getting don donations from many, 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 many people. Uh, he has a GoFundMe for Save a Child Food Drive, which has almost $3,000. And still to this day, yesterday, people are donating, right? So just Stop a day donating. ago, people are donating. Stop donating. Stop donating because wow. you are donating for something crazy, which in the article they talk about what they think. Is if happening. you comment anything negative on this video, dislike this video, you are supporting a child molester, alleged child molester. He's being convicted. They charged him with that crime. They're doing the due process that's needed to be done, right? They're doing everything that they have to do to get him over here and for him to stand to for him trial. to get. Is, this, is it stand? Is he going to stand trial for that? Or is it already, because uh, I don't know the, the little small details in between. If you released the trial and then he left, skipped he bail or something. Yeah, yeah. Who, know, who knows what he did? Are you guilty right away? I'm, I'm, I'm not a professional. I don't know about, about that. But I, I just know that those are the, those. that's what he's being uh, accused of, you know. And that's why they must have proof. And it yeah. must have been something if he, he fled, you know.